Uh, hi, uh, Italian chef Yaya talking to you today from Chicago. Today I'm gonna make Italian dish called uh, osso buco con puré de, pat de patate. Osso buco means the uh, beef shank uh, crust cut. This is what we need to make that dish, a la milanese. Uh, beef shank um, uh, crust cut. We need also celery, onions, carrots, garlic, we need here oregano, and Italian seasonings, and I bought all of them, I use the meat, I bought the nutmeg, and or the noce moscato in Italiano, uh, salt, pepper, to prepare everything, and I gotta begin, we need also oil, Okay, I gotta begin cutting everything how I gotta show you. And we're gonna put it in the uh, here. We're gonna put it in the dish in the pan. We gotta put it in the we gotta put it in the pan in the oven at 450. How you see I use high temperatures all the way, all the time all the time all the time all the way in my kitchen i use high temperature i use nutmeg with the meat all the time and the italian seasoning so i gotta be in right now i show you one time how to buy the knife Good. this way to help you cut so fast any knife can work so good if you fire it you know and with the knife file to do that this way. So if it goes here, it doesn't cut you, you know, because you put your finger here at the uh, holder. So if you don't have this one here, you can do it simply with anyone like this. Any other knife and you gotta file it. I prefer the long knife with the long knife and you do it the same thing like this to cut so fast after you file it you just wash it all right so now we're gonna begin uh, cutting uh, i gotta begin with the something doesn't smell too much to affect the other, but it's I gotta mix it anyway together. So I'm gonna be how you see. Cut the onion now. We do it this way. Okay, this is how I do it. With Chef Yaya, you do it. you do it this way. So, just take that first beautiful onion. Some people don't want to do that. Anyway. So, I do it this way. Right now, abbiamo preparato il sedano e la cipolla. Uh, cedro, celery, uh, cipolla, onions, uh, and we're gonna prepare now the uh, garlic, l'aglio. This is how I cut it. Okay. So. Now I'm gonna prepare the, I'm gonna cut the carrots for. So I say I can I just wanna cut it the smallest I can. So now I've uh abbiamo uh losso buco, uh sedano, cipolle, uh, uh aglio, uh oregano, uh seasoning, uh noce moscato and carote tagliate preparate per il piatto al forno. Uh, adesso devo uh, mettere questo piatto dopo after I cut everything and prepared everything for 
uh, cook it. I gotta cook it right now. So what I gonna do is I gonna put some oil in the. I gonna make these dishes. I make it in the oil. So I gonna put it like this. Okay. So what I gonna do now is I gotta take the shank, beef shank, and I washed it good. I see if it's if everything okay. You have to cut up this way. Okay. Okay. Just the size of it, not a lot. If you want to cut like this, you can do it like this. But the most important thing that you cut it like this. This is what I know when I cut it like that. So I cut the size like this. This is what I do when I eat the meat. And I put the first one. This is the second one. I'm going to show how, how I do it. Now, uh, after I put it in the uh, pan, I just turn it around with the oil like this, you know. Uh, oil, okay. This around, I have the oil. This is the way. And what I do is I put a little of salt and a little of pepper. Here and I just put a little of oregano and seasoning on it, and I just put a lot of scatter of nutmeg all over the meat to get the taste. I just cut half of it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around, okay, and do it again. Here, this is pepper, on both sides, and salt a little bit, not too much, oregano. Seasonings. And what I do, I put the garlic now over it like this. Okay, this is my way. Every chef has his way. I put the onions, the carrots. Don't put a lot of carrots, otherwise, it's gonna be sweet and uh, they'll say they're not celery. I just do it this way. Do it this way. What I'm gonna do now? Everything ready to put in the oven. Gonna take it to the oven. Oh, I forgot to put the other. Not but you can add it after. It doesn't matter. You gonna give the taste too. I put it all first time on the meat, and it's gonna be should be in the meat. This not make. Okay, so what I gotta do now is I can add some other oil just a little bit. Okay, and what I do, I put in the high uh, level of the oven for let me see, uh, I gotta wait for uh, 10 minutes and I'll check after that at 4. 50 Fahrenheit. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna check on the uh, Osobuco al Forno. We're gonna turn it upside down. Uh, this is how we're gonna see it. This is, the this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna turn it upside down like this. See. I gotta do I and we're gonna 
back to the oven. This time I'm gonna put it down because I want it to toss it a little bit. Thank All you. right, 10 minutes pass, we're gonna check on the So we put the thermal now. Here it is. How you see, I'm gonna see it. it's cooked almost. Up to this point, we can turn it around another time. We turn it around like this, we took it for the last time down. And after that, we're gonna add, after that, we're gonna add the broth. If you are a people, Italian people, they add the wine. Some people, they don't like the wine or they don't drink wine. So we're gonna add the broth this time. Uh, the, Italian, the original Italian kitchen, they're gonna add the wine. After that, the broth, I'm gonna add the broth. It's the same thing. It's a different taste, but it's gonna be too much for another 10 minutes. We're gonna check about the It's almost yummy and cooked. It's so tender, soft. You can tell. And what, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add the broth. We're gonna add the broth. This is, yeah, yeah. Kitchen. So we add the broth. Like this. I gonna put it cook another time. Or just mix it a little bit like this. No? And it looks. Yeah, me for me. Down, I gotta put it in the lower level. Now. Thank you. All right, now after five minutes, we gonna. What I'm gonna do now? This cooking is so good for me. But I wanna see it save the broth a little bit. So what I gotta do is I gotta cover it with carta scagliola or aluminum foil. Steam of the bath. If I get a result, it back to the one. Let's cook for another 10 minutes. Thank you, sir. 10 minutes. We're gonna check on the Osobu cook. We got three covered here. Al forno. It's done away. It's a chef. Oh my god. This is so yummy. It looks so good for me. This is the sauce I'm gonna put. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's so soft, soft, tender, soft and tender. You can just look at it. Look at it. This is my way to do it. So now what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, taking the cover away. Because I think the way I'm gonna add just a hot water. Hot water to it. After when it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be dry. And we're gonna serve it with mashed potato that we prepared already. See how we see it? Just turn it around like this and you can mix everything together easy. Everything together, you're gonna mix it easy. You can mix a little mister. See, I'll turn around. And this is gonna be a little bit, we're gonna shrink it with some butter and uh, butter and uh, uh, farina uh, flour. After that, that is gonna be ready. To, I'm not gonna cover it because I want it to dry for another 10 minutes. Thank uh, you. Uh, look at the Osobuco Al Forno now and we'll see what point it is for me. It's done. It's done for me. You can see I check it. It's thinner. It's thinner. You make like this, you cut it. My god, this is so good. But I want to shrink the sauce this is the right sauce for me so what i do i just got a piece of uh, butter i put it in the flour farina burro e farina to shrink the broth this is what we're gonna do 
after I wash the butter with the flour, I get it with in the pan. I'm going to make the farina with the el burro con la farina. So I grab it now. Just put it in. And what you gonna do? You gonna sear it in a little bit. Another time. And it's gonna do the job. Now uh, cooking the osobuco al forno con mashed potato, uh, puré, two pat di patate. I'm gonna check on it. And how you see, it's so, it's so good for me. The sauce shrink. See, how the sauce shrink. And it's done. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the here. By the way, we prepared a mashed potato. We're gonna serve it with mashed potato. We're gonna serve it with mashed potato. This is the way we're gonna put it in the dish to serve. Here, here. I'm gonna serve it with mashed potato. Italian bread, what we're gonna do here with the bread? This we're gonna put it in the oven for like three minutes just to cook it a little bit, make it hot, toss it a little bit, and we're gonna cancel the oven. This is the osso buco, how you see it? Osso buco, how you see? Everything cooked here, how you see, and it's so tender and yummy. Osso buco. Osso buco al forno from Chef Yaya. I'm gonna prepare a first dish for you, how you see it here. This is what we, how we're gonna serve it. This is how we gonna serve it. This is the osso buco. I'm gonna put it here with the Bronx piece, tender piece with some sauce. This is yeah, yeah chef sauce, osso buco. The mashed potato that we prepared. Mashed potato, the toast bread, this is the toast bread, and bon appetito.